Hello, this is Hans van der Kwast, Senior Lecturer at IIT Delft Institute for Water Education. In this video I'm going to show you how to style the flow direction raster layer that is derived from the Saga tool from the Processing Toolbox. So let's start with styling the flow direction map. I'll uncheck the layers that I don't want to see at this moment. Then I need to know how the flow directions are encoded. That depends on the software. If you want to know, you need to use Google. When you search in Google and it's about QGIS, your first keyword will be QGIS. And then you use keywords that make sense for Google to find the results. So in this case, flow, direction, legend. Then the first hit normally will be from gis.stackexchange.com, which is a very good website to post your questions and to find answers. Always check that one first. Here we see that somebody asked this question about how the results from the Saga tool that we also used in the flow direction, how the encoding has been done. And here you can find the answer that for Saga, 0 is north, 1 is northeast, 2 is east, etc. For other software it's different, so it depends on the software which encoding is used. In order to style layers in GIS, raster layers, we need to know if it is boolean, discrete or continuous. In the case of the flow direction, although it seems quite continuous, the different compass directions are encoded into discrete numbers. Zero, to 7 and 255 for flat areas. So in that case I cannot use the single band pseudocolor which is meant for styling continuous rasters. In this case I have to use the palleted unique values renderer. You see here that now our image disappears but also this table is empty. If I want to see it, I click classify and it will index every unique value that it finds in the raster. So we have 0 until 7 and 255. In this column we find the colors that we can change and we find here the labels that we can also type. Now what we're first going to do is to create that color ramp. From 0 to 7, the 255 is different. We will add it in later again. So I'm going to remove it by clicking the minus. So I'm going to start by choosing here the spectral one that I'm going to use to base our styling on. So you see now that it applied this color ramp for the values 0 to 7. Now I can edit the color ramp by clicking right and choose edit color ramp. Now the first thing I want to do is to make the first color the same as the last color because this is north, this is south and this is northwest and this will be east and that will be west. So to make the first color the same as the last color I click on the color I choose the color picker and I click sample color and I move it here and then I click OK and now the first stop of the gradient and the last stop are exactly the same. Now we're going to make south bright yellow. and We do that by mixing these RGB colors. The next step is to make east green. So we click on the east and we make it green. And we want west to be magenta, which is a combination of 214 on red, 60 on green and 170 on blue. And now we see this, this gradient, which is going in a circle from blue to blue 
and we see that it's now applied here to our flow direction map. The only problem is that users will not understand what the values are that we see in the legend. Also, 255 is missing. So we need to add 255 back again. It will automatically add 8, but 8 is not in our data set. So we need to add in number 255. And now we need to change the labels so it reflects the compass directions. Remember that you can Google how a compass looks like to find out what this is. You see that 255 is blue, but it's flat and it should not be the same as northwest and north. Actually, northwest should even be slightly different, but that's for you to find out. So when I click on the color, I can make it white. These are my recently used colors. If you don't have white there, then white can be made by 3 times 255 in RGB. And then we rename it to flat. And in this case, we have now the correct legend here with the correct colors. This is already good enough to submit for the assignment because the assignment asks the flow direction map with the correct legend.